Hello everyone, how are we doing? Happy Wednesday, hope everyone's doing okay. Just checking everything's working. I've got levels everywhere and all that. Uh, the Aussie contingent are in, as are the Norwegians. And, well, plan subs in. We've got a whole Scandinavian uh, crew in tonight. How is everyone? Hope you're doing all right. Um, we're back on Aussie. Um, Aussie Nomads. I was going to say Aussie Farms. That is a completely different series. Hope you're all doing well. Jason's in from South Africa. Mr. Stegman is in. Nick. It's been about a year since I messed that up. Ever since I plugged everything in how I should have done. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. How are you? Good to see you. Fifth Gen, Skeeter. Good to see you guys. Hanson, nice to see you, mate. RP Agri, Fire and Bart. All the way from Oz, nice to see you. Jan, Corp, Christoph, A Pity, Amish, Chef, Plasma, and Shane. And Kielan there as well. Kielan is actually here. He is helping me out getting some of the grass off the field because it's been a week since we were here and it's grown back. So uh, we're doing a bit of a double we're doing a bit of a double teamer here. I think he's actually just going to pick up the mower now, and um, he's going to start mowing. We may be... I don't know whether or not... What do we reckon? Do you know what? We're going to mow it all first, and I'm going to windrow half of it, and then I think we're going to ted the other half and get some hay. I want to get enough in, my, in, the, in the sheds, because one of the next things I'd like to do is buy some cattle. Um, Alan Rhodes, nice to see you, mate. Yorkshire Dano, nice to see you, buddy. Brent... Annie Sub, Mrs. Professor, lovely to see you. Hope you're doing well. Boba Bong and Zax. This is FS22, mate. I don't think I've played FS19 since about the first month after FS22 came out. Did it for a bit of fun, and uh, the difference was um, quite noticeable, even back then. And now, when you go back... In fact, somebody said that this week. Uh, when you go back now... It's actually amazing how much better 22 is than 19. Whereas at the start, kind of people were like, oh, it's just FS22 is just FS19. It really isn't. It is much better. So, there we go. Scott, free for all in the house. How are you doing, buddy? It's been a while. Hope you're well. Nick, Mr. Steggy Poo Farms now in here as a farm manager. Still a good game in itself in its own right. I concur with that as well, Isab. Yes, it is an excellent game. FS19 did us proud, didn't it? Kept us going for an extra year through uh, that period that shall not be mentioned anymore. And we're in uh, where it's very early in the morning, actually, here. Much to Isab's delight, who's been playing in the dark all week because uh, when nobody's in the server... Um, it pauses the server, so we're going to change that. So uh, uh, it just keeps running. Uh, because what we want to do, we're running it at two times. That means you get basically two days for every 24 hours. So hopefully, at least at some point during the day, everybody will uh, get a little bit of daylight going. That's the plan. Anyway, just start mowing it all over and pick up after that. That's the stuff, Kelland. Yes, mate. Um, I'll get, I'm going to pick up a uh, windrower now. Uh, no, a tedder. We've got a windrower. I'm going to pick up a tedder. And then we'll... Um, and then, we'll, yeah, we'll sp we'll split it half and half, I think. Mode and half... Uh, I think we have to go for the pottinger, don't we? 42... What's that? In 17 metres? 9... 9 metres? 7 metres? Oh, it's going to take a long time with that. I don't want to do this, but... I'm just going to check. Did I not buy that already? I've literally only thing I own is the mowers. That's interesting. Um, I've leased everything else. So, um, and I don't remember if we've got leaf. I don't remember if we've got lease to buy on here, actually. No, we do. Okay, that's good. So I can buy it later on as I make a bit more money. That is good. Right, in that case, let's be honest, it's not the last time we're going to need a tether. So I'm going for I'm going for the big dude. It's only two grand to lease. Hopefully those won't tot up too quickly. Got the farm stick. 
Like, you have got it hooked up, just need to find out what the 8,000 buttons is. So, Bob, if you plug it in and if you... Hang on a minute. Which which order is it? Reset it. Uh, plug it in. It should default to a whole load of settings anyway. And if you go to the Thrustmaster website, there's a handy little guide. There's a handy little um, crib sheet on the Thrustmaster website that'll, um, that'll help you out. Nice one, Corp. I actually think we might have one... Um, I think we might have one farm still free. Did anybody... Did we ever confirm if uh, farm 15 had been taken? Or... Because uh, it's, still, it's certainly still sitting with its full value of cash. Braden... It is going well, mate. How are you? Nathan as well. Nathan McBurney, nice to have you here, mate. Hope you're doing well. 14 and 15 have done nothing all week. Well, certainly 15's got its full 500k, so... It's there if you want it, Corp. Not You can have your own farm. Right, if you remember, it was uh, all out of sync last time, but because people have been joining at different times and... Things have settled down a bit now. It is working a little bit, a little bit better. There's always the odd little stuff. You've got so many different farms and vehicles going on that it's uh, always going to be a tough one. But somewhere around here, I'm going to give Kieland a little opportunity to get started, and then uh, and then we'll get stuck into this. In fact, I might. Um, not that it's the right tractor for it, but start to compact some of this silage with my tiny little tractor. So let's move this out of the way, just until Kellen's got enough space going to uh, get things done. RP Agri, you uh, become a member of the channel, first and foremost. Ooh. Um, and then, if you sync your... If you sync your Discord and your YouTube together, you will um, you will get access to the uh, server channels. Sorry, I'm multitasking. I think we all know it's not one of my strong points. It was running awesome when nobody was playing in the middle of the night. <laughs> ah, I bet it was, Alan. Will we see you on later, mate? Unless you're on now already and I can't see you. Who's on? Who have we got on at the moment? We have got, just so you know who's on, some guy called the farm, some guy, let's ignore him. Esab's on, Farmer Hamish is on, a Finnish farmer, Chef Splash, Panzer Storm is back. Kellen's in as well. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So somebody has bought Farm 14 and spent money. But Farm 15 is sitting on it just under 500, so it's taken its, uh, I think, uh, there's a few lease things. Or interest. It's interest because everybody starts off with a little bit of a loan as well. But the interest has been taken. I'll be here for a couple of hours, Alan. I can't stay late tonight. I am off to London at some ungodly hour in the morning tomorrow, so uh, I need my beauty sleep, as you all know. So, uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit and then I'm going to get stuck up here, aren't I? I totally know it. He says as he gets stuck up here. Come on. Come on. Now, if we had mobile workshop, I could put... Um, put Julie's on, couldn't I, and some weights, but... That wouldn't be something new. <laughs> Gonna take a while. Oh, we've gone one whole percent. Again, something else. Yeah, a loan I failed to tell. I do consider potentially reimbursing you all for that. But I just didn't didn't register. But then again, just add to the challenge a little bit, wouldn't it? Can't have it too easy. Farming's hard. Farming's not easy. Enough real farmers here. That's true, Rapi. You could... Get gifted one tonight. You've got to be in it to win it. 
No road train log trailers yet. No, you're going to have to do multiple runs, Amish. Sorry, mate. I am stuck again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wheel spins. Why London? Nothing good there. Oh, I don't know. There's pretty good... There's pretty well-paying paying clients there. So I'll happily go and see them. Uh, they're literally there and back in a day. I'm down first thing and back at... I think I back, get back about 9pm tomorrow night, so... Which is good. And I've got Friday off. Because it's half-term holidays here. But when it starts, it's Easter holidays, actually. For the kids for the next two weeks, so... Got a day at home with the family on Friday as well. Another long weekend. Second long weekend in a row. Uh-oh. Yep. That, I knew as soon as I went that far, I was having issues. I can sense myself... It's a good job. I'm, I'm feeling strong. Oh, I'm feeling quite strong today. I might need to uh, do a little bit of a workout. Just a little bit of a workout. How much have we compressed this? By 4%. I feel this is something we might have to do off stream. Uh, it's these new lightweight carbon fibre tractors. There you go. Nothing to see here. Just a normal day on the farm. Who's got the heaviest, biggest tractor here on the server? I'm going to have to ask them to come and roll my silage for me. Uh, Plowman, the, the kind of is, basically, there's no contracts, obviously, because there's no fields, but um, I think as the server matures and people expand a little bit and cut their own fields and have different crops going and things like that, there will be definitely lots of opportunities. So, for sure. Panzer Storm's off to play Total War. I feel like I'm having a total war with this silage pit. No 715s yet. I don't think anybody can afford it. We've given them a little bit of a challenge with the money. First first few... Uh, you know, actually, if we, if we roll down the front here, we can go and collect... Oh, there you go. Alan's given everybody contract access, so the stuff it can do on his farm as well. Also, check if you're, um, if you're a member, check the... Um, Check the Discord because every farm has got a channel, so people will post in there when there's uh, when there's stuff they need doing or things that they would like somebody to do if they're offline. Or um, I think that's the kind of way we saw it working was that it was just a bit of a free for all. Everybody could muck in and help as and when they needed to. Starting to flatten down a bit now. Yes, of course. Hamish has got a big old forestry harvester. That'll be brilliant. And a wheel, yeah, you've got a big wheel loader as well. Likely to be my farm most of the time, because I don't get as much time to play as these guys, so when, I, uh, when I'm when i on, I'm going to be way behind them unless I get some uh, external help as we go along. Tele teleport. Nobody, nobody said this was a super realistic server. We can uh, we can role play that it's been brought down on a low loader. <laughs> oh, Hamish bought the yeah, that's right. See, I slagged Hamish at the time for spending money on everything, and now I'm like, yeah, it's a good job you have that. There we go. Right, let me get rid of these two little bumps if I can. I think I'm stuck again. Oh no, it's getting better, isn't it? And it's starting to look quite neat. That's so what could we can do now when we go with a pickup wagon is. Um, we can uh, we can reverse right up to the back and fill these holes in at the back of the bunker. So this was a worthwhile exercise. And actually, on that note, I'm going to windrow the headlands so we can pick that up. And then 
I do want a bit more silage first, and then we can uh, ted the middle. So let's do that now. Let's windrow around here. Oh, Kiel's doing those uh, headlands. This uh, shed as well, when we put it down, messed the ground up. So I'm going to have to smooth that at some point. But I'm not going to do it until... I'm not going to do it until we've cleared this. Just in case it uh, gets rid of the... Uh, Oh, look how wide this is. Just in case it gets rid of the crop that we've just cut. Right, here we go. Let's go and get stuff. Power things up. I think maybe once or twice. I want a million liters in my uh, in my bunker before I uh, switch to uh, switch to hay. So that's what we'll do. When's the next contractor episode? I've written script. Hopefully, are we talking US or UK? I'm basically behind on both. So at the weekend, certainly there'll be a US one at the weekend. Hopefully, a UK one as well. If I get my finger out and find the time. Hopefully having a day off on Friday will help with that. Oh my goodness, it's Vin Diesel. <laughs> hello, Yoss. Nice to see you. And hello to everybody who's joined. 123 at the moment. Thank you very much for joining everyone. If you uh, could do me a favour and hit the like button, that would uh, be very helpful. I'm running at nine miles an hour. I'm sure this runs faster than that. I don't know why it's going so slowly. Well, I do, actually, let's be honest. Because um, this tractor's underpowered. UK and US, so thank you, mate. Yeah, they t the problem is they take a while. I always do this. It's like surviving Wyoming. They just... They, t they take so much time to pull together that uh, you really have to commit to an episode. And if there's other stuff going on... You miss a night, you're, you're behind already. So even last night, I was prepping for the next US episode. And it took me about three hours to set up things ready to record. And then by that time, it was after 11pm at night. And I was like, eyes rolling in my head and thought, nah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to stop. And I would do it on a Thursday night as well, but I'm going to be back from London late. So it's probably going to be a Friday thing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll fit it in. Yeah, I, I, Hamish, I got that in terms of it can do you nice uh, nice end rows. Which is one of the problems if you do your end rows first, isn't it? Can do a no shoes. <laughs> it's just a... Oh, I was thinking you could do an a a M S ASMR series. The sounds of Farm Sim and you just have these slow pans across maps and nothing happens. And it's like half an hour of like zen chill out noises. I need a survival series again like Wyoming for me. I know I'd like to do Wyoming again now. I've got kind of better AI voices and things like that. You mouth breathing over the microphone. Ew. Even that makes me a little bit queasy. <laughs> That's wrong on so many levels. I'm sure I was moving faster than this with the uh, wind rower last time. Sure I was. Oh. Only record when you've got a call. <laughs> this is a, this is all kinds of wrong. You're all weirdos.
One sec, guys. Mrs. FSG checking on my welfare. Well, Aussie, uh, Aussie Farms RP is finished now, so we're going to move to a new, uh, going to move to a new map. You can uh, find out. I don't think we've got. Um, I don't, we haven't got uh, manual attached, so we're good. I think it's just my um, my tractor isn't the most powerful. Now I'm intrigued to see if we lag here. It almost feels like on this edge of the field, it's a bit laggy. See where we turned before. Hello, that's totally been ignored. I meant to move that out of the way. My theory's totally gone out of the window there, because nothing happened. Right. Let's park this up. Pick up this headland and see where we get to after that. I'm just going to abandon this in the bushes because we are going to use it again. It is the it is the slow lifting one, Saran. Um, it does do it on purpose. So when you get to the end of the row, it it, it shouldn't. Uh, if you've already done the headlands, pull it out of the way, but. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it's slow. How many episodes am I doing of the Contract UK? As many as I, I'm still enjoying it, and I'm still enjoying it a lot. So, um, well, I'm nearly out of silage additive, and I left mine down at the uh, left mine down at the shop as well. So. We do have quite a lot, so we should be all right. Never end it. All right, Alan. <laughs> Love doing a 16x Western Aussie challenge against Argosy Crew. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good little uh, that was a good little live stream series you had going there, wasn't it? that 62 percent full already that's a good crop of grass we've got some more windrows down there of grass from last time which we might turn under other that either that or we'll get double windrows of it kiln's going along the bottom and coming all the way up i think it's going to cut everything this time there we go full already because mark put uh fill limit on the trailers damn you mark I actually think it's a good thing to do. For the server, keeps things interesting. Any auto drive points near my farm? Um, let's have a look. Kamish. That would be a negatory. The, the, the closest one is the Lime Station. Let's see if I've got the power to reverse this right up to the back of the uh, of the bunker. Look at that. I'm going to have to fix that sooner rather than later. It's going to cost me money as well. I don't have the luxury of doing free landscaping. Here we go. Get it straight. And then... Slam that accelerator. Oh, it was straight and then it went wonky. Oh, I'm going to try again. I was trying to read the chat as well. Right, here we go. Actually, doing a good job of compacting things. So while we're here. Look at that! 
Um, this is never coming back out of here, is it? I might do. Alejandro, you're a farm guy. Nice to meet you. Men don't mention the commentary for Sim Dashboard for including Sim Hub. Only you can do that. Sorry, my English. I'm Colombian people. I don't like Sim Hub. Sim Hub the, the support for Sim Hub is really bad. Um, for Farm Sim. I, I had a look at both of them before I started doing my dashboards and I decided Sim Dashboard had a lot more uh, kind of support for it. I actually worked with the developer of Sim Dashboard as well to add new features into it. So some of the stuff in my dashboard is directly related to me asking for more functionality to be added. So he's been really helpful. Whereas, whereas Sim Hub is... Um, I really struggle to get... I mean... <sighs> It's not really designed for tablets. That's like a secondary thing. It's designed to work with, um, like, plug-in peripherals. So, uh, yeah, that was that was that was my thinking behind it. Anyway, right. Let's just. I have to level this. It's upsetting me quite greatly. And I know I'm getting rid of a little bit of grass. I said I would not do that, didn't I? And then I forgot. I am the king of saying one thing and doing something else. Mrs. FSG will agree with that as well. Oh, once you dig into it, Hamish, it's amazing. RP, oh, have I ever watched the farm hand bicycle? For I tried to watch it at the start. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, again, time, really. Right, here we go. Let's grab this. I wonder if we go down there. Yeah, we'll finish off this one headland and then see how much we've got left. Let's grab that. It's going to tell me I don't own this land. Oh, it's not. That's exciting. I was thorough, fully expecting that to get uh, shouted at. Here we go. My uh, spring in my wheel is very light as well. I need to fix my settings on that. It's a bit uh, floppy, shall we say. Don't take that the wrong way. Weird message for a no man's land here. <laughs> Turns out somebody does own it. I think actually somebody next to me does own it. Oh no, they don't. There's all the owned farms look there's a bit of teamwork going on down here they've all clubbed together to work as a team which i think is quite a nice idea but kill and go he's not wasting any time is he Tell you one thing about this map, the lighting's very good on it. That was my thing, RP. A little bit too much talking for my liking. You have a mower that will row grass. I think we're probably all right now, Chef, because I want to turn half of it into... Um, Half of it into uh, uh, hay, and we'll keep half of it as silage. So we're, we're about halfway through it now, so all good, but I'll know for next time. If I'm just doing silage, I will be coming and knocking on your door. Right. Oh, it's got... This has got steer, rear wheel steering on it, and it uh, sends me... Uh, uh, Kaelin's just sitting with his feet up. Um... It sends me all over the place very quickly when it decides it, it unless you're going perfectly straight it goes um come on come on that's lag that's not me getting stuck go all right come on come on
I can't drive forward now. Come on, I'm getting stuck. There we go. Thank you, friend, for the greeting. No worries, Alejandro. Uh, the idea is to be able to play online with strangers who do not use Sim Dash or Sim Hub, since they are automatically paired from Sim Hub. I use both. Don't quite follow, but I'll uh, I'll maybe have a look. Yeah, the rear steer axle is annoying on this. It um it definitely uh. Makes reversing a little bit of a challenge, and you can't turn it off, which is a shame. But we'll get there. We'll make it work. Hamish is on his way down with his dig. In fact, there he is! There he is! He's here to save the day. Let's see how, how quickly he can compact that. I need to give him uh, contractor access, actually. He ate that kind of trailer. <laughs> what with the rear axle steering? Five percent already just on that tiny little bit right let me give hamish let me give hamish contractor access uh, let's remember which one it is shall we there we go hamish's homestead contractor there we go car hobbs nice to see you mate how are you and Stu wallace as well nice to see you buddy how's things Kale's flying. It's not massy. It's it's going at full gas. Watch this full load of grass on. This will go full steam ahead. It's all good. It's got all the power it needs. Love a modern tractor. Uh, doing well, Stu. Thank you, mate. Yeah, doing well indeed. Oh, okay. That's the most bizarre thing you'll see all night. Is a is a I don't know what you call it, tree harvester. Compacting. See how quickly he's going through it. If I can, get, I want to load in this other corner now. If we can do this with this rear wheel steer nonsense going on, totally overcompensates all the time. Here we go, let's see if I can keep this straight as I can. A little bit of a lag fest too. That's gonna mess me up. Right up against the wall now and ah Knew that was gonna go wrong. Right, let's try again. That's what I wanted. Bingo, right in the corner. Let's get this full to the brim. And at the same time, I'm going to jump out and see how quickly Hamish is levelling. 16% already. I spent about five minutes on my own. Got nowhere. 17. I bet, if he, I bet it'll go 18, 19. Oh, I'm stuck in the wall here. That's my problem. Trying to get out now. There we go. Stop! Oh, I love the Volvo excavators for 
They're one of the best things in the game. For leveling, they are. There we go. Right, I said I would do one full headland, so let's do that. I didn't see how much was in the in the bunker there. I'll check that on the way back. Is Farm 15 still open? It, it is indeed, Corp. Go grab it, mate, I think. Let me just have a look. Yeah, park's on field 14, so you can have field... You can have Farm 15. And uh, you need to give it a name. I shall... Uh, we shall officially donate it to Corp. Not Here he is, arriving on server. Oh, Mrs. Prof, always on it. Always paying attention. Thank you, Mrs. Prof. I want to go for a million litres, but I don't think I need that much. I don't think I need that much, so... I'm going to go for some uh, big bales after this. With the hay. I think we need... Um, it's one of the mods we're going to put in is the larger bale capacity, because... Um, just to stop the, stop the server going too uh, slow, or having too much to do. Well, it kind of handled it pretty well last week. I think everybody was, everybody was bailing, weren't they? Four nineteen now, nice. And it, it didn't fall over. I think there was enough space between people. I was quite impressed with how it handled it. Once it once it did its initial sink, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Headland is like four, four, uh, four trailer loads. I need bail. Hall. I might do later on. Finish. Yes, I'll give you a shout. Like everybody's come to help me. It's nice. You could, um, if you're at a loose end, finish. You could come and Ted for me now if you want. You need it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, we'll put some bale storage. And we're going to use Argzy's bale storage. But we're waiting for it to be fixed in the mod hub first. It's going in for a little update, isn't it? This week's back in testing already. Oh. Most farms are waiting for harvest. It's only me. Me, the reprobate, on his second round of silage. Because he left it all week for his grass to grow back. There we go. Just this little patch here now. And maybe we'll run down one of those from the last uh, thing to make a full trailer. So two more trailers. Which will be another 60,000 litres. And there's 419 in there, so... Well, okay. Creeping close. Just as Hamish has managed to compress it all, we're, we're back. Right, here we go. Let's play this. Frustrating game of reverse with this trailer. Another reason. Make a mental note for future. Maybe I won't buy this one. Throw it back when the lease is done and uh, get something that doesn't rear wheel steal. Rear wheel steal. I can't speak. You know what I mean. Yo, a little pot at the back there. Hamish can squash that down. 
There's something satisfying when you properly fill a bunker and you actually hit the fill limit at the top. And it looks super neat and tidy. There's tractors on sale. FSG is the is the is the bargains. Two Massies. That's no use to me. Or an 8RT. 56k off. I can't even afford that. Can I lease it? Here, here's a question. Can I lease that? No, I can't. I have to buy it. You cannot lease it if it's on sale. How about that? That's about as horsepowerful as I've got. And that would take me all my money. <laughs> I haven't even been on the whiskey. And I can't say rear wheel steer. There we go. Got it. Tracer, how you doing, mate? Four and five K bales. All right. We're never going to be close to that, are we? Have you tried NVIDIA freestyle filters? Yes, these bad boys you can put uh, game filters on and add them in there, yeah. It's pretty good. How do you take over the farm? Have you joined it? Corp, right, hang on, mate. Um, uh, click on New Farm 15, join it. Go into Farm Manager, uh, go into Farms, scroll right along to the end. Click into New Farm 15, and then I'll give you uh, Farm Manager access. I'm on a delay of about five seconds, so by the time he hears this. one of the other guys could probably give him access I'll leave him to it he can share thank you Legion appreciate it mate how you doing nice to see you yeah we've only got 71 likes and 144 viewers you know what to do people it's free it's free to leave a like oh wow. <laughs> two million boxes of potatoes on spring creek it'll crash and the game will be lost and uh, i for one won't be sad Right, that is us for silage. Look how quick Kellen's done this. He's flown through that. You're in. Right. New farm 15. Why? I see you then. Fifteen broken. Right, hang on then. I'll do that, Hamish. We have got a duffer of a farm. Delete farm, yes. Oh, no, don't delete that. Oh my god, you see what I nearly did? Oh yeah, it wouldn't let me. No, I don't. Yes. Oh, it's not letting me delete it. Interesting. Somebody else have a go. We have a glitched farm. All glitched up. We'll get that fixed. It's a bit annoying though.
I wonder if that's why it's not being uh, played on. I could, I could, I look like I could join um, the farm, but it wouldn't let me delete it, which was interesting. Right, Hamish, this is my last one, so after this, you won't get annoyed by me messing up your nice, neat bunk pile. Try and leave it a little bit neater. There are like cliffs of grass for you to have to... If you join the farm, it wouldn't... Yeah, it looks like it's maybe a bit glitched. Right, there we go. And Kieland is back and done as well. So if I grab the tedder... I don't know if they're the same width. Oh, well done, Esab. We can, hopefully, one of us can create it again now as well. Let's get this unfolded. Excellent. Right, there we go. Just as Corp comes back. Perfect timing. There we go. We're back online. Get some VCA going here, I think. Cleared the edges, cleared the borders. Let's wait for the sync to finish. Christopher Del Rosario. Hi from Ontario. Nice to see you, Christopher. How are you doing? Oh, this is, this is big. That's good. Let's head down here. One of my favourite things in FS22 is the animation for Tedding. I think it's fantastic. For all everybody moans about the graphics compared to other AAA title games, I think this is absolutely lovely. Let me get my angles right. Point fourth. Got that double overlap thing there. Can you see it above my uh, speedo? I've got both angle things, but uh, it's, um, they overlap each other, which is a bit annoying. I think we might have to go into the game save and hack the XML. It's not working. Could check the map to set the angle. Does it tell me 90 degrees on the map? Or you mean just by eye? Oh, minimap, yeah. Or we could not have two mods that do the same thing in the same place. On the <laughs> Just an idea, you know? Call me simple. I don't know which one it is. Is it Enhanced Vehicle that's doing that?
Christopher, this is a Valtra. A very small Valtra. So it's not a Q series, is it? It's a... It's an N series, I think. Uh, I can tell you, though, because I can go into here and I can do this. Well, I can do this. It's an N175. There you go. 210 horsepower. 201 horsepower, even. It's a, it's a beast. That wouldn't, that wouldn't work on the 200 horsepower challenge, would it? Turn it off in menu. I don't even know what the menu I've never, I never used an enhanced vehicle. Oh, look at this. People bringing their own equipment and balers and everything. Oh my god, I feel... I feel properly looked after by the crew. Teamwork makes a dream work, eh? Scott Page, nice to see you. Oh, sorry, finish. Hang on, let me turn here and then I'll sort you. Biggest bales you can get, mate. Oh, right on a turn. That'll be uh, Corp coming back in, I think. Just wait for uh, the sink. The kitchen sink. Hey, Sim Guy, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. What's happening? We're filling, filling time. <laughs> filling time. Whilst the longest sink in the world goes on. Hit the accept button. We've got stuff to do. We've got farming to do. There we go. Oh, this is the, there's going to be some very quick bales out of this. When you look at the height of some of this, you, we're turning in a windrow from the last batch of. Uh, Last batch of grass as well, so there's going to be some big bales. Right, finish. Let me give finish admin rights. Finish farms contractor access. Yes, there we go. All good finish. There you go, Carl. RP guys, RP guys, gift his membership. Have I ever mod? Um, uh, have I used Kubota tractor? I have. Um, if ever I need my lawn cutting at home, I will use a Kubota. Because that's what they are. Or if I want to cut grass on a golf course, I'm joking. I like the I like the big one. The the what's it? The eight series. We just don't have them in the UK. Kubota are very much a a lawn care tractor in the UK. Although to be fair. At, um, at Lama, which is our machinery show earlier this year that we were at, they had the big ones there. Oh, Corpse having a nightmare. Uh, Liam, can you join? Uh, if you're a member, you can uh, join, uh, sync your Discord and your YouTube together, and then you can jump on and help a farm, any of the farms that need help. Peter Smith, thank you, sir. Thanks for joining. Let's see if we can get around this without getting tangled up in it. Oh! Oh, look at that. Municipal tractors, very popular with cemeteries, livery, hot turf. Yeah! They have their place. I'll go up this end at the end here. I'll go back on myself and sort that. Man, that's a lot of bales already. Ah, right. Park, you need to uh, give uh, one of the admins a shout and they'll uh, they'll update it for you. I'm looking forward to stacking some bales. Pr 
professional tedderer. Roger, Roger, uh, Tedder. Uh. Kubota, very trusted marine engines. Oops. <laughs> That's me not paying attention. That's how I know. <laughs> just undo all his hard work. I was just finishing the grass off. There was a bit overlap. BX23S. I'm all about help. No help, mostly. Instead of no creek farms, they'll have no help farms. I'm like that guy that nobody wants on the farm. Like, uh, we Davy on, uh, Davy on the contractor series. Everything he touch breaks. Not his fault. He's not been taught properly. One of my gripes with VCA right there. Ninety degrees again. That'll do let's see if that's gone ninety actually, or is that gonna be off? I can adjust that though. Using my brilliant sim dashboard skills. I think we're good though soon find out. Gentle nudge over that way. Yep. Sorted. Big befores. Tried login. But your connection's very poor. That's a shame, mate. We'll keep trying. Stackable offence. Davy, we call that type <laughs> like it. I'm gonna go and grab this and then I'm gonna reverse back. I'm just gonna get this stuff right over by the tree here. And then we'll go back. Bit of messed a bit half, haven't I? Typical. Vehicle thingy. <laughs> no worries, Jex. You are welcome. You can turn that 45 degree snap into the... You can. Um, it's the not the 45 that's the issue, though. It's it's getting it aligned. I think I've got about 5% tolerance, actually. BX23S. Is that, is that a lawnmower or is that a tractor? The contractor series. Ah, okay. The you are actually talking lawn mowers. We're not going to be there for long. Steve, did you uh, message me on Facebook today with that question? Because somebody asked me that on Facebook today as well. Uh, maybe it depends uh, which ones people are using. I see my uh, my case one is now with a number one downloaded one. It's past the fent. In like about three days. MP, how does Sim Dashboard even work? What is necessary? Right, I can actually show you. Um, can I show you? 
know. Oh, well, I can, but it'll be tiny in the corner. See whether... But there's Sim Dash. Okay. So, like, my VCA controls are at the bottom here. Um, so, basically, what happens is with Sim Dash, you install a piece of software on your PC, which extracts data. It could collect certain data from the game that the game produces, like the speed, the water temperature, revs, things like that. And it bundles them up into a little file, which then is sent real time to. Um, this app and then this app sends it to another uh, an app that sits on your android tablet um so it's cool it's a very clever little thing and there's lots of functionality with it now so you can do different things like you can have lights on or you can have buttons that change uh their state depending on what state the uh, the implements in so for example <laughs> That was not put back on properly. So now we're at the end of a row. Look, I can raise up. I can fold. And you see the light, see the state changes when it's unfolded. I can power it up. And as well, I've got additional things down here which tell you so if I power it down, that little light goes off, the revs go down. So although this, although I built this for the, look, I've even got it there as a a dial, so it's kind of multifunctional. Um, so there you go. Do that. Cam crash, crash counter plus one. Uh, why is it not in SimHub? Because SimHub doesn't work! SimHub is designed for if you go and buy a, one of those fancy uh, mounts that sits on a steering wheel with all the data in it. It's designed for those. When you put it on an Android tablet, it overheats. The, I've, I've read loads of articles about it overheating tablets. Oh, mod tub, because it's um, it it on its own, it's useless as a mod. You need you need to install the PC application on your PC first, and then it uh, then it adds the mod to your mod folder there. So having it in the mod tub, it wouldn't work. Because SimHub is an, is an alternative to Sim Dashboard that's used by a lot of um, uh, uh, racing sims for data te um, telemetry and things like that. Oh, I'm, I should have probably done another headland. This is going to hurt. Go on, get round it. Oh, come on, come on. Ping. Good job I bought that. I bought the flexible one. Sim Dashboard works with oh, hundreds of games. Hundreds of games. It works with truck sim. Pretty much every racing sim you can think of. Even some of them on console. Not many. Yeah, we're doing all right here, aren't we? We're doing all right. He's finished doing a bit of picking up as well as he's going along. Do you like multitasking? MP, honestly, give it a go. It's um, You do have to pay for the pro version <clears throat> to get the dashboards with all the functionality. But um, but it uh, it's like six bucks, and it's a one-off. It's not like you pay a subscription on a monthly basis. Um, it's a one-off payment, and it's like I always say, it's the cost of a coffee from a 
from a Starbucks or something like that, or somewhere that actually sells proper coffee. Um, um, but uh, it's it's absolutely worth it. It kind of adds a whole different dimension to the game. San Alejo, I think you're losing like the understanding. It if you put the mod in the mod hub, it won't work. You have to install a PC application onto your PC and a mod in the mod hub. So you with if you just put the mod in the mod hub, it won't work. Yeah, there's uh, I agree, Hamish. There's some people who maybe don't have design as their uh, top skill, but uh, can do some good functional dash dashboards at work. I can only I can only do how the system works. I didn't I didn't build the system. I'm just I'm just a guy that builds visually builds the screens. Um, so uh, I, I I have no control over how it works, but I know that it wouldn't work if you just had a mod in the mod top. Yeah, yeah, and it's a pretty standard thing. For uh, games, if you want telemetry, you know, on a third-party uh, device, you have to have something that sends it from the PC to that third-party device, no matter what it is. So, good evening, Mouse. How are you? And Grumpy as well. How are you doing? Oh, and Semper's in here as well. Oh, too busy having a conversation with uh, uh, Sana's chatting about uh, sim dash and that's why it's not on uh, it's why it's not on um, iOS as well because of Apple's security pro protocols they um, you can get around them because I think sim hub their mod works. Um, there is space on the server, guys. Yeah, jump on. You might have to find some jobs to do. I think there's a lot of people waiting for stuff to do. Um, but, uh, I think Corp Nut's just on now and his farm's working, isn't it? Oh, it's Corp on now. Did he? Did he make it? Is is he is he working? Just check while. Uh, no, he's not. He didn't make it on. Oh, corpse on Hamish's farm at the moment. Helping Hamish. Who's going to pay? Exactly, right? That's a nice thing. Like, my Android tablet is a no-name, you know, Chinese-branded one, but it's got a good high-def screen. It's got 16 gig of RAM. It's a, it's really nice. It's a really nice bit of kit. I think I paid about £70 for it. Corp's doing your silent match. Thank you, Corp. What a guy. What a guy. I said I was going to do... Do you know who's missing tonight who would have reminded me of that? Excellent, Corp. Thanks, mate. Feel free to cover it if you're uh, 100%. It's a big old tenor. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get some bales picked up in a minute. I think we'll have to put a bale storage down. Have we got a bale storage on our mods yet? I'll have to have a look at that. But doing, there's my made out of rubber. This have we got? In fact, that's completely the wrong thing, isn't it? Silos. It'll be in order to bale storage. Oh, we do. We have bale storage stack. Let's go with a uh, 800 pieces. Are we gonna get 800 pieces off this field? I'm gonna say no. Are we going to get more than 150? I'm going to say yes. 350 looks good. Let's place a bale storage mod. It's not Argsies. So I apologise in advance, Args. Um, right, let's see. 
Let's put it. Something like that. Does that work? I know with this where it actually where it actually puts the stuff. I think it goes in the big frame, doesn't it? And it's you tip it in the small one. And you can get it out of the big one. Ah, I don't know. Go big for later use, do you think? Does it fit though? I'm going for it. We'll have to move the mower. Oh, that's okay. Bosh. <laughs> um, I don't own this land. Somebody spent too long picking where to put his <laughs> to put his baler. You got a handle off a corp to help with the bales. Oh, there we go then. Let's uh, let's get some bales done. I've done a Hamish. I have indeed. I've got distracted. I think you have to stack manually, lol, make for it would, wouldn't it? It would. Thank you for the compaction, chaps. I appreciate that. Coming from the other side of the mountain to help us. Oh, I'm quite excited about my little bale stack in there. Because we can put straw in there as well, because next job is to... Uh, turn this I'm going to turn it into probably maybe three fields I'm going to run three things together Grumpy you think you need a better PC health disability prevents oh, that's a shame Grumpy well actually you remember I talked on the last stream about um, building a PC and giving it away I was doing some pricing up of stuff this week because I want it to be uh, if you had a if you had a PlayStation, that you could get a PC for roughly the same money, give or take. This is going to spring off the trees, isn't it? Doing. Um, but actually, if you price up a 500, 600 buck PC, so let's assume you're buying a PlayStation 5, an extra controller, because you don't want to play on your own the whole time, and you have friends that might come around and play games with you. Let's say you buy a game or two with it. Um... You're already up at 600 quid. And I I priced up a, a, a gaming PC this week with a 3060 card in it, uh, the very fast Ryzen uh, 5 processor. And uh, honestly, it would, it would run Farm Sim at pretty much full res and probably allow you to uh, capture and render stuff at the same time. Come on, I did stacking on stream. I have to. I'll do a bit of stacking. And I know. By my uh, escapades on the contractor series now, I'm feeling quite confident that I wouldn't make a total boo boo of it. Did I put. I just see. I put a front loader on this tractor as well. I was planning ahead. I'll do it. David Dawson, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. What's happening, mate? How's things? Thank you, Christopher. Nice one, Chef. Yeah, it's... Um, if you're clever and you know what you're looking for, it's not that. that this, this whole fallacy, you need a minimum of two grand for a PC to play farm sim, is... Uh, is... Definitely not... Definitely not true. Right, there we go. Done. Let's put this in the shed. Or alongside... We're probably going to need another shed sooner rather than later as well because we've just put our bales in that shed. But for now, the weather's nice in Oz. Look, not, no chance of rain happening here for a while. So let's... Uh, Let's just dump it down the side of the uh, silage bunker. There we go. Shane, nice to see you, mate. How are you doing? 
David, great to watch you all farm. It's good, isn't it? When you get a little team going, it is quite um, it's quite enjoyable. Right, I'm going to go and get a weight and a front loader and a bale grab. Forecast to rain late. Oh, so it is. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be a shower. We're fine. Do I need a bale trailer or is that a waste of time? We're we just going to run them across the field or shall I get a bale trailer? Right, I'm going route one. I can be on stacking if you want, Tony. We have got uh, auto load grabs, though. Gives me a chance to use the farm stick as well. I'll give it some airtime. It's sat there quite dormant the last couple of uh, episodes. Run them across the field. It does does make it quite... No, I'm going to buy a trailer. I'm going to get a trailer, just for uh, fun. A, a useful trailer will be handy, will come in handy. And look, we've got my favourite trailers here as well. Look at that. I'll put a front board, but not a rear ward board, so we can hang stuff off the back of it. We'll lease it again. And we'll check the sales for a load. Oh, there's a loader in there. Look at that. 80 horsepower. It's the wrong one. No. The wrong one. Will that fit? Does anybody know? I've, I know it says 59 to 80 horsepower, but I think, um, I think it won't work, will it? One twenty, one of three hundred and forty horsepower to run, and it'll lift. Ah, there you go, Jason. <laughs> Did you get a notification? Customize. Uh, what colours our tractor? Will we go? We're gonna, we're gonna support Arxy. I'm gonna buy this because. We'll always need one of these, won't we? And uh, front loader tools. I think we we'll have to get a weight for the back as well, aren't we? <gasps> Albert Bale King. It's not the one I like, though. And we don't have the... Uh, my favourite bale... My new favourite bale stacker, because it used to be... It used to be... He says he can't find it. It's to be this one. Here we go. We're going loading mode automatic. Front loader. Round square. Going to go three bales. We're definitely going to have to buy a weight. Support Arxy, go and river dance it. Just chuck it in the river. It's so cheap, this, isn't it? 2,000. Let's get a chunky boy weight for the back as well. 1.5. Or we go big, 2.3. 3 points. Let's go with that. That'll do. We're not going to be lifting much more than that, are we? Make it bright orange as well. There we go. It's a proper little set of tools, this. We're laughing. Neutropsyche, welcome. You're among friends. You'll get no help here. There's guys here with like 5,000 hours on FS22. Nope. Well, that's the... Yeah. 
It might be slow finish, but it's good fun. Joseph McCleary, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. I'm going to do the thing where I hook the weight over the back. A little bit of a lag spike. Oh, there you go, Trusser. Yeah, that's... Sell some of the hay bales. Price is good. Uh, I might do, actually. It's not a bad call. Because we won't need tons for chaos, right? That's, this is going to be fun. Ah! I was optimistic. It's because it's the big... Some of them you can run if it's a... Right. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. It's a fake weight. I'm not sure if that fixes it or not. That'll do. When we're near the farm, we won't use the trailer at all, but the far end of the field, I think, needs some, uh, needs some help. I've said this before, I'll say it again. You know when you're having fun on a server? You know when you're enjoying yourself? When, uh... When you look down at the clock and it's an hour and 20 minutes since you started and you've never looked at the clock once. I could have put it on the front as well, that would have been sensible. Are there any difference between the two front loader brands? Uh, other than the brand, Nick? No, I don't think there are, mate. I think they're, you're right, they're just different. You must have been working here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's only a small weight, Mrs. Prof. Right, here we go. Finish has been moving them off the field, I think, as he's been going. In fact, should we, should we do a test and see? Right, remind myself how to do that. I'm not using this one for a while. B, Y, X, unfold it. What is it? Come on. Unfold to, oh, oh, I mean, cracky. There we go. May not need it. We are a little bit light at the back, aren't we? If I put the brakes on, yeah wheels are spinning so we probably will use it fs22 is addictive it is there we go and i've got to lie down after moving that there we go right now remind me now get these off here Thing of beauty, people. When I play FS22 every time I jump in a vehicle, the damn thing starts driving off on its own. Why is that? Are you pressing... Are you pressing, um... Three, maybe, or something? Or has it got one of those, uh... There's a keep speed thing in VCA. I don't know if you use VCA, Grumpy. Or you've got, I don't know if you use controller as well. Sometimes you can get the trigger stick on the, stuck on the controller, which uh, doesn't help. Tresser's on his way in. How many times will I visit you on the bales of the trailer? Sometimes I do that. Manual start will put an end to that. If I build a P, no, if I build my own PC, I'll build my own. Oh, 
That is not right, is it? Should have moved those first, right. I parked my trail in such a terrible place. Spatial awareness. Really hard in FS. How many different angles can I get before I load them on? There we go. Oh, one more. Come on. I'm stuck. <laughs> that is actually me just pressing. <laughs> I was just pressing the accelerator by mistake. Not a lot of space on this map. That would have been that would have been comedic, at the highest order. That would have been classic FSG. That, but knocked them all off at that point. Am I forklift certified? I certainly am not. Don't believe in it. It's like the good old days. Somebody just goes, there's the controls, this is how you do it. Don't break anything, get on with it. The good old days. The good old days before health and safety got in the way. No, I, I do not condone good health and safety. We have that for a reason. There you go. A little bit of auto stacking. Very forgiving. This is why I like auto stackers. Auto loaders for me, I think, are the perfect balance of something that uh, helps you, but you still need an element of uh, getting things right to get them onto the trailer without wrecking everything, as I've almost proved a couple of times tonight. So you still got to be quite... Um, accurate with what you do. Whereas a, 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 like an autoload trailer just completely does away with... completely away with everything. I think you've got a mod there, Grumpy, that's messing you up somewhere. There's something that's... Uh, something that's switching itself on when you're loading up. Especially if it's not doing it in 19, that definitely suggests that there's something, something else going on. I will also say that stacking bales in farm sim is harder than in real life. Not that I've done it for a few years. Well, I did it at um, FarmCon last year under controlled environment but um when i used to, when i used to do it in harvest on the farm it was definitely easier than this and i didn't have auto load before you say everything <laughs> mr maslin is in the house how are you doing tim always nice to see you have i seen those yeah those forklifts collapsing entire warehouses yes yeah, they're brilliant. It is, isn't it, Ryan? Oh, Esab's Esab's left as a protest. Driz, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you.
Right, we'll get one... No, well, we, could we get another six on at the back? I'd like to think we can if we straighten all these out and push them to the front. Let's just... Tr we'll try that with the next... Uh, try that with the next stack. No worries, Isap. Take it easy, mate. We will see you soon. I'll make sure we get the server so you can drive in the daylight as well. How about that? Just at some points. Look, we came on, it was like 7 in the morning, and now it's 11. So actually, the, having the short, uh, shorter days, running things at 2x speed, should work quite nicely. Alright, moment of truth. We're going to mess things up here, or we're going to save the load and fit two more stacks on. We shall see. Esab leaves his tractor on. Esab's got so much money, he just leaves his tractor running. Where's Greta? Report him to Greta. Right, and I'm not sure if I can do this, because it... This is the this is the thing with these. They're not actually bales until you unload them. So I might have to unload them and then push them. So look, if I roll forward now, look, it's a little bit of a, an optical illusion. And I think even now, yeah, it's still an optical illusion. So I need to drop them onto the deck like that. They become bales again now. And now I can push them forward, but can I push them? Is there enough strength to... Oh, it's sliding, it is. This has got the propensity to explode everywhere, by the way. Exploding bales, FS-19 exploding bales, who remembers them? I'm going to ram it, ready? Why am I doing this on stream? Why am I asking for trouble like this? It's a thing of beauty. I always knew that was going to happen. Look at that. Look, I'm, I am sorry. That is a neat load. I'm going high pitched. That means it's good. It worked because you're exactly. You're like my guardian angel, Tim. It's the neatest stack ever. Just because Tim's here and he has OCD like me. I'm going to Cardiff, Tony. I am going to. Beginners like... <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> no, well done. Oh, you're so good, FS. No, beginners luck. Total luck. There's no way he meant to do that. <laughs> he might be right. You're going to make me load a second trailer load now to prove that it wasn't a fluke. Jeez, you guys are hard. Is this a pre-recording? Edited. It's a hack. It's a hack. I'm using cheats. Cheat mode enabled. No, this is all my... Why are you all so mean? Oh, see. I'm trying to get smart now. Tidy everything up. Messed up my bales. You know what? I'm going to gently nudge this and then I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, I think. And go get these into the shed. Come on, be nice to me. That's all right, isn't it? Be nice to me. I've worked very hard. I'm leaving this on pickup mode, so if I get too close to any bales, I could cause myself all kinds of pain. In fact, I might turn it off. I will turn it off. We're going to fold the tool to avoid <laughs> any incidents. 
Look, I'm, I am sorry. That is majestic. Look at that, cranky. I did that. That isn't an autoload trailer. I stacked them on there with an autoload loader. <laughs> Thank you, like... You have to leave it to Mrs. Prof. She's at least... Oh, and you can always rely on her to say something nice. You blokes are all rubbish. Thank you, Dano. Yeah, quite pleased with that. That will never happen again in Farm Sim. So you are witnessing a, a historic, momentous moment here. 9.5 out of 10. Nobody ever gets a 10. Nobody wants a participation medal, right? We want... We want to work for our... Uh, At least you're not making me unload them. Right, are we doing another trailer load to prove a point? Or are we... Uh, will I go down to the far end and... We'll head down here. There's those big stacks down here. Who's that? Is that uh, Corpna or is that Kieland? Are we still in four? I only got the three stack for mine because I thought the weight wouldn't take it. Thank you, Grumpy. I, do you know what? I really enjoyed doing that. That was a that was. I'll be honest, a total number of weights on the other side of the of the. Uh, his record books will have these three asterisks. <laughs> um, that that um, lawn care business idea came to me in a I was like how do I I'd, I'm not far enough ahead with my story to think about what to do next so I was like how do I um, how do I fill the gap if I've been kicked off the farm and uh, I just so happened to notice that it was those houses with the long grass and I was like oh wait a minute I just need to go and find a, a mower and then there was loads on the mod top there's loads of really good lawn mower mods on the mod top It's hey. <laughs> Can't you give me the give me this one, Jan? Just one. Give me what just one. <laughs> this is how we keep this is how we keep FSG grounded. By just just constantly reminding me that I am not actually that good. Uh, anything. <laughs> Maybe next stream. <laughs> I'll not hold my breath, mate. It's okay. I understand. I understand. I'll buy the beers at Farmcon. Jack of all trades, master of none. That is my life, basically. Even my creative design life at work for the last 20 years has been that. I can do a bit of everything. I am no specialisms at all. <laughs> I agree, Cardiff Tony, and I've always said this. Um, your real mates are the ones that absolutely destroy you. They're not the ones that are overly nice to you and overly complimentary to you. They're the ones that you know you can absolutely rip to pieces and you come back for more and you laugh about it. That is, that's the true meaning of friendship in my book. Even though, you know, if, if the stuff hits the fan, they will be supportive and they will be friendly and they will be helpful. But equally, I've, <laughs> I have a brilliant story about that, actually. So I was, uh, as a lot of you know, I used to be quite um, quite serious cyclist, semi-professional cyclist, was sponsored by a big bike company and all that, and raced, raced all over UK and Europe. Um, and uh, I had a, quite a nasty accident one day, came off on a, a roundabout in the middle of winter. Um, my mate who was with me, of course we were racing each other, because that's what you do as mates. 
and he came off on the inside of me and threw me onto the ground and we were doing about 35 miles an hour on bikes uh, on wet tarmac and I came off worst I was uh, I hit the deck I was pretty con uh, pretty concussed a massive hole in my knee um, uh, yeah it was pretty pretty carp so I was lying on the ground freezing it was about two degrees as well lying on the ground um, in agony in fact I wonder if I've got the uh, shot somewhere um, lying on the ground uh, in agony not really knowing where I was because I was quite dazed and um, uh, my mate took a photo of me because he said oh you'll probably want a photo to remember this by <laughs> By that point, an ambulance had come, and I was wrapped in one of those foil blankets to keep me warm um, while they checked me over and stuff before they put me in the ambulance. So my mate took a photo of me. Um, again, the sort of thing your mates do. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm never going to be able to find this. Uh, and then he shared it with my other mates. In fact, there, there's the photo. In fact, if I go... There's, that's me on the ground in front of the ambulance. And then not massively longer after that, um, let me see if I can find it. Probably won't be able to find this. My mate did a... I can't find it. I'll need to find it. I'll need to share it with you at some point in the future. Um, in fact, let me go back to that. Because it will give me the date, won't it? 30th, 2019. Right. I'm going to find this because it's funny. I still laugh at it today. But he sent me a, a ridiculously bad Photoshop... I mean, I'm talking like a couple of hours later of me uh, in that foil blanket. Basically, a burrito. I'm never going to find it, but uh, I'll need to post it on the Discord. So, yeah, basically, he mocked it up as me as a burrito wrapped in foil. Not, how are you? Are you okay? That looks serious. Is everything fine? Here's FSG as a burrito. And that, for me, is proper friendship. Because, <laughs> you know what? I was lying in hospital, and I laughed my head off. And it's a good tonic, right? Needless to say, I destroyed a £4,000 pair of carbon fibre wheels as well, which uh, was a little bit more painful than the incident, and the accident in the end. I'm getting bail delivery, so this is, this is nice. This is service, isn't it? Service with a smile. Yeah, to, Tim, that was kind of the beginning of the end for my serious cycling as well, because I was like, I was getting on a bit. So I was coming to the, I would, let's call it the twilight years, and all these young whippersnappers were handing me my, you know what, every weekend. So I was kind of thinking about knocking it on the head anyway. And it turns out, as you get a bit older, you just don't bounce like you do in your 20s. I ran my best friend over with a three-wheeler after he tried to spin mud on me with his... <laughs> Love it. It really does, Taz, doesn't it? It really does. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> Just chatting away, staring into space. You're like... What's this dude looking at? They come back, look. Now you're gonna think now you're gonna think this is a scam. 
Those, I, st I was stacking those while I was on full cam. Chef didn't do that for me. <laughs> he didn't. Look at this, in unison. Come on, drop it. Is it Chef? I don't know, I'm going to check, actually. should have my names up, shouldn't I? I turned them off for recording with ARGs. Oh, it's Kieland. Look at that. It's like Torville and Dean. Oh, it's not Kieland. Missed his, missed his Q. I mean, Kiel, it's all right, mate. I mean, could have made a bit of effort to make it neat and tidy, but... Hey, Arx, how you doing, mate? Hello, Arxy. He's got his sound off. Oh, no. I've screwed up. <laughs> I pressed the button. Wait, there we go. Look, it's like nothing... It's like nothing went wrong. Kellen's feel guilty about his slightly wonky... Failstat. He can't do that, Kale. He'll just disappear in. <laughs> Gonna have two left. Are these the last ones? Yeah, this is. Oh my god, we cleared that field super quick, didn't we? Right, let's pick these three up. We're gonna have a couple left over, which we can run down in the in the uh, front loader as well. Why did I get out? Oh, Kellen's got another load on there as well. So here's what we have to do here, Kel. You have to drop them on and then take a run-up. Because you uh, didn't put yours on neat and tidy. There's not enough space for them. I'm joking. Oh, he's got five. That's it. Kel can take four. And I can t I can bring that last one. Kel. Thanks, mate. I love it when... Uh, this happens to me so often, right? Everybody else has got to admit how often this happens to you. When, you've, when you're loading up from a field and it's the perfect amount for a load. So if I do that. Do that. Oh, this is going to be neat. This is even better than the first one. Oh, it's not. That stacks off to one side slightly. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to tempt fate. It's good enough. It's good enough. More. It's more better. Put it that way. <laughs> this is all the state of us all. We're all falling apart. I was going to say nope. Ah, oh, here comes Kellen for the last... The solo. The solo bail. It didn't even skip a beat there, did he? There you ate, you... Spring chickens, you lot. Wish I was still 38. There you go. Little, little bit of unforgiving help there. There we go. Just nudge it on. Look at that. Fantastic. It'll do. And I'm going to do my Yanar trick now. The weight to the front, and uh, as a uh, front-loaded tractor, big time. A crankety crotchety old opposite hen. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Nice self-regulation of the language there, impressive. Try bouncing at 72. Yeah, here we are. Virtual farming together. 
<laughs> what a bunch of reprobates, eh? You know what? Timing is impeccable. With ten minutes left to go, we'll do our little run round the other guys, I think, like we did last time. All the best, Tim. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Nice to see you. Did we move the mower? Did I move the mower? Or has the mower just magically decided to disappear into the into the bales? I am astounded. Oh, Cardiff Tony, you asked what this was. This is um this is a standard shed with a with a bale stacking thing added to it. Bale storage. It's quite a nice bale storage mod that actually. I mean it's not Arxis, but it's good. We've gotta say that he's here. Right, there we go. Thank you, gentlemen, for all your assistance. It is greatly appreciated. I'm going to have to... Ah. Oh. Got an invisible... Uh... Invisible uh, barrier there for the bale stack. So let's stick this next to the... In fact, should we treat ourselves to another shed? No, we'll not worry about it yet. I need to cover this uh, silage up as well. There we go. Let's park him there. Now, next... <laughs> when we come back next week, the grass will have grown again and we'll have to do it all over again. No, we're going to make a point of getting in here and getting some ploughing done. Right, there we go. Oh, we're only 56 compacted. Well, that's not enough. We'll worry about that another day. I need to keep going with that. I might have to invest in some time in somebody else to do that for me. Right, let's go and have a look. We like to go and have a look at all the other farms. So let's just quickly do a little run round. See what's what. So there is me. Now, I believe, let's get our bearings. Just over here is now, not everybody's going to be on tonight, so I don't know who's who, but I think this is... Or over one. I can't cover it, it's not compacted. We'll come back. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm back from London at a sensible ish time, so I can uh, look at the amount of grass here. Holy moly. Park park is that is that is a prop, that is a park. Grass park that. Um, and then over here, I'm going to jump in Alan's vehicle because I'm in... Alan's, okay, so Alan's still working away. He's started liming. That's interesting. He's liming. Has he created fields there? He has, he's created a f two fields. So he's mowed, and he's created himself, in fact, three fields. He's doing similar, that's similar to what I'd like to do, actually. Split them up now, that's slightly bigger. He's got a bigger plot than me, ever so slightly. I've probably got about two-thirds of a plot. He's got a whole square. But that looks pretty good. He's getting on with stuff. Is he? He's not seeded. I guess that's his next job, is to get this seeded, isn't it? And I think he's going to keep mowing the grass around his... Uh, how much money's he got, actually? I think a lot of people just sold all of their... Uh, 119... Oh, that's about the same as me. Um, I think a lot of people just sold all their hay straight away so they could buy more equipment. Right, next up, let's go and see what's happening. Uh, what's this? Mr. Tubies. Let's go and see what Mr. Tubies up to. Oh, he's got fertiliser, he's got seed. He's been busy here, so... But he's just got grass, so he's bought stuff, but then he's maybe not had time to come back and work the farm this week, so... He's gone back to base. It's got a nice shed, though. I like that shed. 
I have to get one of them for my machinery. I do like that. That's quite nice. So Mr. Tooby's not made much progress from last week. He's obviously had one cut, you can see, where he's cut it. So he's marked it out. There we go. Let's park again. Um, and then let's head up to here. The Trey's place. Oh, my word. What's Trey been up to? Chickpeas. Trey's planted a massive, massive field of chickpeas. That's interesting. Holy moly. I'm guessing chickpeas are worth money. Let's just see. What's, 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 uh, what are we peddling chickpeas at at the moment? 800 ish compared to something like. I don't know how they yield though. 300 for corn, 700 for soybeans. Okay, so it's more than soybeans. So you only need it to yield the same as canola or soybeans. And it's good money. I don't know what it yields at, but that is, that's interesting, isn't it? Lentils, same price. Ryan spelt less. Crackers, I didn't realise there was this many uh, crops on here as well. Look at this. Lucerne. That's alfalfa for us uh, non-Americans. You have a canola field too, Mr. Tooby, did you? I, I missed that. I apologise. So it is down there. That's quite a big canola field as well. Let's go and have a look at that. Let's not do Mr. Tooby a disservice. There it is. I thought that was... So again, that shows you how big these plots are. I thought the plot went down to here, but no, he's got a massive field of canola down here. There you go. Very nice. Right, so that's Trey. That's... Who's this? This is Chef. So Chef kind of did the same thing as me. He spent a little bit less on his land because they're massive. And he's got a little bit more cash to play with. Uh, he's using the bale loader. He's got full field of bales. Now, we're going to put the real mower mod in here so we can get rid of these bushes as well at some point. Uh, we could plough them under, though, as well, couldn't we? They disappear if you plough them. So we've got those. Uh, so that's everybody south of the river. I th oh, no, it's not. Who am I kidding? So Big H, Finnish Farmer, and I don't know who the third person is here. But they're doing a little bit of a team effort. Finnish is busy putting us in some sorghum. Okay, nice. He's got stones as well. We left things like stones on. Don't want to make it too easy for people. Amy, bootstrap farms. Right, there you go. There's the dream team. Layered up together. They, are, they have been busy here. Look at this. This looks great. Not even bothering with sheds or anything. They're like, no, we'll just slap a floodlight down. Park your stuff wherever you want. Love it. So this is chickpeas so chickpeas seem to be a bit of a theme we start to see a theme with the chickpeas and this is ah it's auto driving its way back that's delivering the baler back after it's been helping me thanks for that finish by the way and then back on the grass this is Amy's farm We go stop the the bat wing is not a bad call as the mower actually not a bad call at all hey paul right nice to see you mate peas grow fast yeah only four um four growth stages actually that's a good point cranks yeah that's a good point right um let's head up to oh i don't have uh I don't have any admin rights there. So let's go to Panzer first, and then we'll cut over to Mark's farm. The Panzer's doing the same. He's gone for soybeans. Three of six. I think that grows a little bit quickly, though. Oh, interesting. Now, has he put that down? Panzer put that down, or is that... He's decided to put that in. That's quite clever. A little bit of passive income. Not a bad idea if he's put that down. It might have been there, but I don't think it was. 
And then if we head this way. This way, he says. There we go. We can see it over there. I might go with the peas. I'm, I'm, I'm down with the peas for an option. This has been, this server has been busy all week. There's times when I've looked at it and it's always had six or seven people working away on it, which is great. Right, this is, so this is Mark uh, Haythornthwaite's farm here. And this is the Vikings here. This is, so this is, uh, this is um, Yanar and Kieland working this bit of land here. And Mark, I think they're working as a team as well, because Mark's been away on holiday last week, but he seems to have a nice big field of stuff in. So, oh, they've gone for a little... Uh, they've gone for a little solar panel as well. And they're not bothering with sheds either. And they're like, no, we'll have somewhere to park our bales, and we'll just have a piece of land. Now Mark has gone for chickpeas as well. Okay. Chickpeas is clearly the future. Never thought I'd say that. Now up here. Might have to teleport up there. Esab. Esab's recluse. This little place in the sun up here is... Oh look, he's got a nice... See, this is, this is Esab to a T. Look at the neat and the tidiness of this. This boy is uh, very, very organised. A lot of... Oh my god! Look how many bales there are. He's going to have fun picking them up. What is this here? He went for the single mower as well. Jeez, he's a... He's a He's a sucker for punishment, isn't he? Right. Um, Asap has got a lot of bales to pick up. But having said that, I mean, we cleared my... Two of us cleared mine pretty quickly. So, there we go. Grumpy, take care, mate. Nice to see you. We'll see you again soon. Stay fit and healthy, mate. Don't be bouncing. We've just discussed. Bouncing's overrated when you get older. Right, and finally, Mr. Hamish is, uh, oh, he's got Corp, Nut, and Tresseur helping him out here, loading logs. This is, this is the other, this is the flip side. There are a couple of forests on the map, not big ones. Uh, just waiting if we get some nice shed mod. We'll get you some nice shed mods, yeah, and you want some big American sheds, do you? We'll sort that. We do actually need a bit of a regroup this week and uh, maybe put a, not too many, well, maybe drop a few mods and add a few more in. But the guys are uh, guys are getting there. Uh, I could hear something squeaking there, but it's uh, I think it's actually in the game. Amish will be making some good money out of those, I would think. Although he did blow. Oh my god, he really is! Look at him go. Very nice. He's practicing. He's going to join logging league next. In fact, this might be the only forest. Oh no, it's huge though. Oh, we've got another patch there. Another patch there. But they are the only forest just over on that side, so. But um, somebody could have some fun with those. So there you go. That's what's happening on everybody else's uh, farms as well. And then we'll head back over to way, way, way over there. I think that's Mark's farm. You can just see that different coloured green just over there where my, uh, my little central HUD thing is. Which, again, just reminds you how stupidly big this map is. Like properly scratch your head massive so that there is that farm there so you can't even see you can't even see what finish and the guys are doing amy and the guys are doing all the way down there just maybe we can see but it's massive um and now i'm at walking speed i'm moving at walking speed now some outback style sheds oh we can do that we have some of them anyway the but the um the sheds we've got are uh, the Easy Steel Sheds, the base game ones. They're nice Kiwi Sheds, but no, I'll get you some Kiwi Sheds, and some Aussie Sheds. So it's cool, and, and the map and the map's great. It runs really smoothly. 
So there we go. It's a, it's a good it's 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 working as I, as I wanted it to, which was people kind of just enjoy working here. It's we're not racing, we're not trying to do things as quickly as possible. I think the time scale's working in our favor as well. There's a bit of waiting at the moment, but I think that will change. That's why I want to split my fields into maybe 3 or 4 so that I've got I can do different things at different times in them. Um but it's fun. It's fun. Can't beat a bit of uh can't beat a good bit of uh, multiplayer on farm sim. Um Am I giving that how? I still got to so apparently cranky the cool kids leave the stickers on. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Uh dash flash yeah unfortunately mate it is just PC as you can see by the absolute monumental size of this you put this on a console it would melt it I think well certainly a PS4 not a PS5 probably PS5 would probably be all right that's not cool <laughs> well I'm down with the kids and apparently it is <laughs> you know a field that is bigger than this map <clears throat> Whatever, Jan. <laughs> the cool bit is the F is... Exactly! Exactly. Right. I think on that note, we will say thank you very much. I'm off down to London in the morning, so I'm going to get my beauty sleep. But uh, thank you. Really, really enjoy It's just chill. Thanks for all the help to the guys that came over and helped. Uh, loving the server and again if you're a member and you want to get stuck in we're getting to a point now and I think as, as it keeps growing I think all the farms are taken now but as you saw tonight I had three or four, three or four people helping me so um, so uh, if you want to join you know where to come um, keep an eye on the discord as well because you'll see jobs hopefully jobs and things popping up there so that you can uh, you can jump on and give us a hand so uh, there we go and I will aim to be, I might try and do something on Saturday. We'll see. We'll see how things are going. Um, or Sunday. One of them. Maybe, maybe a weekend day could be quite good fun as well. So, uh, but there we go. Another Aussie no man's done for the night. But uh, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weeks. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Have a good time. Take care. Bye for now.